Joined here today with head softball coach, Adrian Clark. Coach, just your thoughts following today's win over Elon. Yeah, I thought it was a huge win for us. Uh, we've been battling so hard uh, in every game and um, this game was no different. Um, I thought, uh, honestly, I'm just so proud of the team and how hard they are fighting and how committed they are to figuring it out. Questions? Coach, Julia Absol has been absolutely rock solid on the mound this year. Another. 6K outing today. Uh, what's been going right for her for the last few minutes starts? Yeah, she's really finding her groove. She's staying within herself. She's uh, She doesn't get flustered by by things. Um, and she's really figuring out how to, you know, better locate her pitches and spin them through the zone as opposed to just hitting spots. And when she does that, I mean, she's so hard to hit. Coach, your hitters have got a lot better looks against McKenna McCard today compared to game one of the doubleheader yesterday. What adjustments were made at the plate? Yeah, you know, we told them to, uh, to to stay where their feet are and to stay in their legs. And when we do that, we have much more competitive swings because we're working to see the ball deeper. And uh, I thought they did a fantastic job of just working to make that adjustment and work to hit their pitches, not her pitches. Thoughts on Chelsea Manto today? Yeah, Chelsea did a fantastic job. She, um, you know, she she's such a dynamic hitter, being able to lay it down, being able to like hit it through. Um, you know, you saw that her power in with yesterday's triple. So I thought she did a fantastic job. Coach Alia Catanza Rita got another big pinch hit, RBI hit today. Uh, talk about her performance off the bench these last two games. Yeah, these last two games, it's it's been you know, Alia doing what Alia does best and, um, or Alia, sorry. Uh, she is, uh, does such a nice job of maintaining composure of staying within her own rhythm and, and just getting a good pitch to hit. And that's exactly what she did the last two days. Coach, talk about the base running today. Uh, Chelsea, Casey, even Angelina Iapolo got in on, got some stolen bases out yeah. there. Just, you know, talk about the strategy on the bases today. Yeah, well, if you ask the team, we've been spending a lot of time doing base running. So um, we have been working to get them to understand the importance of like running until you're stopped um, or until the ball stops you. And uh, the amount of extra bases we took this weekend is um, indicative of the commitment that the players are making to be more aggressive, to read and react to what they're seeing. Right now, uh, as we speak, you got a, a home run derby contest uh, for charity. So what does it mean to you to be hosting something like this at Bill Edwards Stadium? Yeah, it, it honestly, like, I mean, you know, everything we do is bigger than the sport that we play. And the, um, you know, that is sort of like our philosophy as a program is to just to make sure that we are developing our student athletes as people. And, um, you know, Abby and me, and this is a, a cause that is, um, you know, very near and dear to her heart. And she, she is the one who put this together with the help of a couple of our teammates. Um, you know, it's through her passion and love for others and being able to share kindness and and support is is why we, we do what we do. And um, so I have to give all the credit to our players and their commitment to also um, understand that, you know, everything we do is bigger than the sport that we play. Concludes today's post-game press conference. Coach, thank you. Congrats thank on the you win. Thank you so much.